Hey guys, what's up? This is Reaper Digital, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Streamlabs OBS settings for both 720p and 1080p while streaming at 60 FPS. So let's get started. So you click the gear icon down here. Under output settings for my streaming setup, I use my GPU, which is the 1080 Ti, to do the encoding, and I use hardware in Vink New. You want to enforce streaming service encoder settings. That way, if you're streaming at 1080p, then it allows your viewer to choose 720p if they can't watch it because the bit rate's too high and they don't have a good internet or something like that. Um, the rate control you want to be CBR, which stands for constant bit rate. You set your bit rate for 5500 for 720p and 6000 for 1080p. It's usually what I run with. And these settings have taken me a long time to tweak over the last couple years of streaming and trial and error for certain games, but the keyframe interval is going to be 2, your preset's going to be max quality, your profile is going to be high, and you do want psycho-visual tuning on. Uh, what that does is on high motion rate games like racing or something like that, it helps the GPU render the fast motion rates and makes it less blurry and blotchy and stuff like that. And for the recording, I used my own custom folder that I created on my desktop to be the recording path. That's always a good thing to do. I also use the same setup basically for my recording. Everything's the same except for um, a higher bit rate. So I use, usually use 8000 for 720p if I'm recording. That way it's really good quality and, and it's crystal clear. And about 9000 to 9500 for 1080p. Um, again, psycho visual tuning is on. Um, for video, for my base canvas, if I'm streaming in 1080p, then I don't output scale down or up, so whatever my canvas is, is the same thing as my output scaled. So if I'm streaming in 720p on a base canvas, then my output scaled is 720p. And again, I stream at 60fps. Um, under the advanced settings, the process priority is going to be normal. The color format is going to be NV12 by default. Um, but you're going to want to change the color space to 601 to 709 and what that's going to do is give more colors for it to choose from and it's going to make the colors look better and more vibrant. Um, as far as the color range goes, you want to leave that at partial because if you set it to full, your shadows in your games will look really, really, really dark and um, that, no one wants that, it doesn't look good. Um, but I force GPU as render device, and as far as advanced goes, all this stuff down here is going to be the same thing as default. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's my streaming setup. I hope you guys liked it. Um, another tip I can give you real quick is, say you have an image or a GIF or something like that that's always playing in the background that's moving, um, and it's on a different scene or something like that. So what you're going to want to do is go to the properties, which I am having a brain fart right now. Okay, I got to select it, sorry. <laughs> um, you go to the properties, and it says unload image when not showing. So when you're not in this scene, gameplay feed is what I call mine, um, it won't load this image. So that way, when you're in a different scene, the renderer isn't rendering an image that isn't on screen. So it actually helps a lot when it comes to quality and clarity for your videos. Well, I hope this video helped you guys and please feel free to follow and like or comment if you guys have any questions. I'll be sure to answer them. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.